10 Reasons Huga is Perfect for Small Spaces One of the easiest ways to add a sense of Huga to your space is by flooding it with deliciously scented candles, as seen in this display on Pinterest. Candles are essential to the Huga experience, offering one of the easiest ways to add warmth to a small space. Neatly arrange them on a bookcase, a coffee table or around a drawn bath and you'll see just how the Danes relax. Because Huga originates in Scandinavia, it's no surprise that it rests upon the principle of minimalism in modern style. This bedroom, styled by Ashley Libeth of Ashley Libeth Design, screams Huga because it's uncluttered but cozy, with layer upon layer of fresh bedding. Incorporate Huga into your bedroom in two steps, 1. Declutter. 2. Go blanket crazy. If it's too warm for heavy comforters, focus on light, breathable layers you can remove as needed. As of 2018, there are nearly 3 million hashtag Huga hashtags on Instagram, filled with photos of cozy blankets, fires, and coffee, and it's clear the trend isn't going anywhere soon. Many of these Huga-friendly ideas are best practiced in winter, but this is one that works well all year long. Greenery can be incredibly soothing, purifying your air and helping to make a room feel finished. Copy this refreshing look as seen on Pinterest with some of these air purifying plants in your small space for an easy upgrade. In the book, How to Huga, Norwegian author Signe Johansson offers rich Danish recipes that keep your oven hot and encourage Huga enthusiasts to celebrate the joy of fika, enjoying cake and coffee with friends and family. Not hard for us to convince you, huh? It's even easier to create a sense of cozy in a small kitchen, like this adorable one from blogger Do It But Do It Now. A good book is an essential element of Huga, and what better way to encourage daily literary indulgences than a great reading nook? Jenny Comenda from Little Green Notebook created this adorable library. It's evidence that you don't need a lot of space to create a cozy reading area. In fact, a home library is all the more cozy when it's quaint and compact. A common misconception is that to embrace Huga, you need a house full of modern Scandinavian furniture. Though your home should be uncluttered and minimalistic, the philosophy doesn't actually require any furniture at all. This inviting and oh-so-cozy living space from blogger One Claire Day is the epitome of Huga. If you can't fit any modern furniture in your small space, a few floor cushions, and a lot of hot chocolate, is all you need. Once you've higgied your home, you've got a great excuse to stay home and learn a few new crafts. Knitting is one of the most Hugo-worthy crafts for small spaces because it's innately cozy and can provide genuine pleasure without a lot of space. If you've never knit before, you can easily learn online from the comfort of your Danish-inspired home. Follow Instagrammers like TL Yarn Crafts seen here for swoon-worthy inspiration. Doesn't this dreamy daybed as seen on Pinterest make you yearn to curl up with a great book? Add some cafe or string lights to your bed frame or above your reading chair for the full Huga effect. The right lighting can instantly make a space feel warm and inviting, and the best part is you don't need any additional space to play around with this look search Huga on Instagram, you'll come across endless photos of people enjoying breakfast in bed. Many small spaces forego a formal dining table, but when you live Huga, you don't need to gather around a table to enjoy a meal. Consider that permission to curl up in bed with a croissant and a coffee this weekend like Instagrammer at Alabaster Fox. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.